My name's Rosemary Farley and I'm an ex a special needs teacher for the whole of my career. I took early retirement and 13 and a half years ago we set Gorfenera up. Uh, this is a day centre for adults with a learning disability, acquired brain injuries, mental health problems or physical disabilities. On a day we can do woodwork, we can be working out in the fields, we can do craft, art, cookery, Whatever people want to do, we can actually do it. I've always had a passion for people with a learning disability and I've always thought they had a raw deal. And I think that when I'd been to see and visit day centres, I'd often felt that they weren't giving them enough. And what I wanted to do was to give somebody who came here some self-esteem, give them some feeling of real self-worth, that they could make something that was saleable that somebody else would want not something that you took home from your primary school not of that standard but something that was really good and if necessary or if you wanted to it could be sold in a shop it was good enough for that and to look after animals purposefully not just pat them but actually go and put up a fence if it needs it i spoke to the growth hub following some thoughts i've been having about how i could help people with dementia dementia is um, particularly on my radar, um, I have known a lot of people with dementia, I know, and I do know people with dementia, and there is not a lot out there for people who live in the country. A lot of people have grown up living in the country, being an outside person, like I am. And people who live in a rural life or a farmer, or have had a country upbringing, want to be out putting up a fence, sorting out the animals, tinkering with the tractor, doing something purposeful, doing something that they know they did all their lives. And there isn't anything in this area, and for quite a way around, that does anything like that. And that's why I decided that I would go to the Growth Hub and think about setting up a CIC to enable people like that to come here and take advantage of, we've got super facilities here lots going on we could do it quite easily i had quite a long chat with richard from the growth hub who came here to visit and i showed him around and told him my my ideas and my plans for the future and he was incredibly helpful suggested ways forward and suggested that i spoke to rio in liscard so that and one of them would actually help me and mentor me through this process of setting up the cic and setting it off Talking with Richard made it all seem a lot clearer and made it all seem like, yeah, I can do this and it's, it's not going to be the onerous task that I was beginning to think it was. Yes, I could do it and yes, it was a good idea because somebody else thought it was a good idea as well. Anybody who's thinking of setting up a social enterprise, a community interest company or even just a community group, speak to the Growth Hub because it was well worth it. It made me see things clearer. It gave me a route forward and they, he pointed me in the right direction so that I could find my own way now. But I needed that push really to push me into the right direction. <laughs>